The Nintendo Switch eShop, you love it, I love it, and of course, we all love Nintendo Switch eShop sales. May is here, which means there's a batch of new games that are on sale, and you guys seem to enjoy my recommendations on what to buy, so here we are. What's going on guys, I'm RGT85. If this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But without any further ado, let's talk about some Nintendo Switch games that are on sale on the eShop right now, and what games you need to have on your radar. So we're going to start things off with sort of a hidden gem on the Nintendo Switch, a bit of an under the radar game. You might have heard of it, you might not. It is a game called Splatoon 2. Now Splatoon 2 is available for $41.99 and obviously I'm joking about the hidden gem or under the radar game. Everyone knows Splatoon, but it's not very often that you see first party Nintendo Switch titles on sale. So I did want to mention this. Now of course, I feel like everyone that has wanted Splatoon 2 has probably picked it up. It sold over 10 million copies by now but I guess a lot of people are picking up games like Animal Crossing for the Nintendo Switch and getting a Nintendo Switch just because of Animal Crossing so Splatoon 2 is a game that I think Animal Crossing fans would enjoy it's obviously a bit more high paced when it comes to the action and whatnot but it's still a very enjoyable game and a game that I feel like is pretty easy to get into of course unless you're going against competitive players online but yes Splatoon 2 is on sale for $41.99 if you are on the fence about it Nintendo is actually doing a demo for Splatoon Splatoon 2 as well so if you're one of the few people who has not picked up Splatoon 2 but you've been sort of interested in the game now is probably a decent time to get it because like I said not many first party Nintendo Switch games end up going on sale Next up, we have some Star Wars games to talk about. Obviously, Star Wars is very popular right now. May the 4th be with you and all that sort of stuff. So some Star Wars games are on sale on the Nintendo Switch right now, and I just want to talk about them and give my little impressions on them. Now, this sale will be ending on May 6th, so depending on when you're watching this video, this sale may already be over, but you do have until midnight Pacific time in order to get into these sales on May 6th, so there is a little bit of a window. The first game we're going to talk about is probably my favorite out of the three, and that is Star Wars Pinball, which is available for $20.99. I really like Star Wars Pinball. There's a great variety of tables. There's sort of challenges you can do as well. A lot of cool stuff and a lot of fan service when it comes to the Star Wars universe. I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan in the world or anything like that. I do enjoy the films and whatnot, so I was kind of impressed with this game. I really felt like they did a lot of great fan service. The pinball tables that you play on are really fun as well, so a really solid game. If you like Star Wars and you have any sort of fond memories of playing pinball machines I think this is a really good pickup the next game is Star Wars Jedi Knight this game of course just came out pretty recently in the month of March and it is available for $16.99 I've actually been playing this game I originally bought it when it first came out on the Nintendo switch and I actually played it some yesterday because it was May the 4th here in the States and I actually enjoy this game I think it's pretty good it does you know sort of feel a bit dated at times it is a third-person action-adventure game where you could switch into first person when you're using things like different guns and whatnot I really just use my lightsaber and all of my abilities but I do feel like it has a good story there's lots of cool stuff from the Star Wars universe in here as well a lot of cool characters so I do enjoy this game it is a bit rough around the edges there is online multiplayer in this game as well that's just absolutely hectic and crazy so if you like Star Wars stuff you'll probably like this game now the third game is Jedi Knight 2 I really wasn't a huge fan of this game it is available for seven dollars and 49 cents and I don't know when I originally played this game I just really Really didn't like it all that much a lot of people do enjoy this game though so if you're like a die-hard Star Wars fan you'll probably enjoy it anyways but the difficulty just seems to sort of be all over the place with that game but it is a decent enough game that I do want to mention it at seven dollars and 49 cents like I said this sale is going on until May 6 at midnight Pacific time so you do have a little bit of time to get into these games if you want them now before we get into the next few games I do want to mention that many companies that we normally see doing eShop sales are currently doing eShop sales. You have WB Games with games like Mortal Kombat 11. Ubisoft just announced a bunch of sales as well with pretty much the same games, the Assassin's Creed games, games like Starlink. They're all games that we have talked about before. I kind of want to talk about games that we haven't necessarily talked about before in this sale video. So do be on the lookout for those sales. There are some really good deals on there, but I've talked about those games so many times. I'm just kind of bored about talking about them. But I did do some reviews on a lot of those games too, so make sure you guys check those out. But let's talk about some games 
games that I definitely recommend. First off, we're going to talk about Ease 8 on the Nintendo Switch. Ease 8 is available in a Miss America sale for $29.99. I have talked about Ease 8 before, but I absolutely love this game. I feel like it is a perfect balance of an action RPG game with a very interesting setting. There's all sorts of cool characters that you come across. The battle system and combat system is just absolutely fantastic. I feel like it's a really well done battle system, and it's just a really fun game. There's a lot of cool stuff to explore, a lot of cool stuff to discover. Definitely a game that I want to pick up physically one day. I ended up getting the digital version of this game originally, and I kind of am just kicking myself over that because the physical edition is kind of hard to come across at a decent price. But at $30, this is definitely a game I recommend. If you are a fan of action RPGs, maybe you're waiting for Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition to come out at the end of this month. This game will definitely help you pass the time, and you might actually like the combat a bit more than Xenoblade. Next up, we're going to talk about LEGO Jurassic World. LEGO Jurassic World is available for $19.99, and if you're a fan of Jurassic Park, well, I don't know why you don't own this game already. Sure, it released on other platforms, but now it is available in a handheld system, and I think that is absolutely fantastic. Come to think of it, it might have released on the Vita. But anyways, we're talking about the Nintendo Switch, and LEGO Jurassic World is a really fun game. You obviously have the first three Jurassic Park films within this game, and then you have the fourth Jurassic World movie in this game, and it's just really fun to revisit these set pieces learn about new things they really do a good job of sort of encompassing the jurassic park you know sort of lore and whatnot there's a lot of cool dinosaurs a lot of cool moments to uh, you know revisit within the movies and even new moments that are created specifically for the game i played this game on my nintendo switch Lite. i started it i beat it on the nintendo switch Lite, and i had an absolute blast with this game the switch version of the game runs really, really well too so at 19.99 i feel like this is a really good bargain next up we have ukulele available for 30 $13.59. If you're a fan of 3D platformers, I think Ukulele on the Switch is a fantastic game. It's definitely a collectathon. It's definitely for fans of the Banjo Kazooie series, but I feel like there are a lot of Banjo fans out there. Sure, other third party platformers have come since this game released on the Nintendo Switch, but I still feel like this game holds a spot on the Switch. I feel like it is one of the perfect games for the Nintendo Switch. And at $13.59, like you just can't beat the price. Of course, Deadly Premonition 2 is coming out in the month of July. It will be releasing on July 10th, but in case you want to visit the world of Deadly Premonition and sort of get a feel for what this game is about, the original Deadly Premonition, Deadly Premonition Origins, is on sale for $14.99 on the Nintendo Switch right now, which is half off, and I highly recommend this game. It is just absolutely bizarre. It's one of the weirdest games you'll ever play, but I feel like if you enjoy this original game, you're probably really going to like the sequel as well, because I expect more zany moments. It's a part survival horror game, part open world game, which is a really weird story that goes all over the place trying to figure out what's going on in this strange town while you're trying to solve a murder case it's just absolutely bizarre but i absolutely love this game i actually have this game digitally i have a physical limited collector's edition of it as well so to see this game at 14.99 is definitely a steal in my opinion and something you should want to check out if you're a fan of survival horror or just weird quirky games in general Next up is a game that I have not picked up on the Nintendo Switch yet. I've had many people tell me this game is very good though, and that the Nintendo Switch version of the game is very well done, so I will be picking it up within this sale, and that is Bulletstorm Duke of Switch Edition, which is available for $14.99. Now, I played Bulletstorm on the Xbox 360, and it's just a very over-the-top first-person shooter. It's really a lot of fun, and just very hectic, very fast-paced, and just very crazy. But the Duke of Switch Edition, of course, allows you to play as Duke Nukem for the entire game, including new voice samples from John St. John, who is the voice of Duke Nukem. So I'm really looking forward to this game. Like I said, I never played the Duke edition of this game. I just played the stock game back when it came out on the Xbox 360, but I've heard very good things about the Nintendo Switch version of the game. Seeing that this game is just $14.99, it's definitely something I'm going to be picking up, and I'll let you guys know in a future video what I think about this game. And finally, we're going to wrap things up with three cheap Nintendo Switch games that you definitely need to have on your radar. These games are all $5 or less. Actually, there's three of them, and two of them are just 99 cents. But the first game we're going to talk about is a game called X Morph Defense. This game is available for $4.99. I've actually covered this game before on a previous Nintendo Switch eShop video, but I really like this game. And to see this game available for just five bucks when I think it's originally like a $20 game, this is a really good bargain, in my opinion. It's part a tower defense strategy game, part a shoot 'em up game. And they really do a good job of sort of blending these things together. You basically like build a little base to sort of stop incoming 
incoming attacks and then you also fly around and shoot these incoming attacks as well the story is a little bit sort of cliche and whatnot and you know it's not really a deep narrative or anything like that but the gameplay is really well done i think the graphics of the game are really well done as well so this is a really fun game at just four dollars and 99 cents if you're a fan of shoot em up games or you're a fan of tower defense games and you've always wondered well what would happen if you combine these two genres x morph defense is the product of that and i think it's a really well done game speaking of shoot em up games we have the vassara collection available for just 99 cents now i have never played the vassara collection i watched a trailer of it and i said hey it's a, it's a shoot em up game there's two shoot em up games on here you can do tape mode which means you take your nintendo switch and move it sideways so you get that full sort of screen even if it's just a very average shoot em up game at just 99 cents the price of a burger king taco which are no longer available i went to my local burger king to get a burger king taco and they said we don't sell them anymore so i was kind of pissed about that but yeah at just 99 cents like this game looks like a lot of fun like i said i haven't played this game yet but i will be picking it up for 99 cents and the final game i want to highlight is flashback which is available for 99 cents as well if you grew up in the 90s you know exactly what flashback is now this version is of course sort of done for the modern era as well you can play the traditional flashback or you can play it with some new improvements for the modern era such as different graphical filters improved sound effects and a rewind feature it sort of plays like the original prince of persia games it's one of those cinematic platformers but this game was very impactful when it first came out many people think this is one of the best games of all time it was really groundbreaking and really revolutionary so to see this game at just 99 cents like i said i haven't played the nintendo switch version of this game but knowing how flashback is just a classic game in general i will be picking this up as well and it's definitely a recommended game because i mean it's a dollar folks it's a dollar all right so that is going to do it for today's video like i said ubisoft and wb games does have a sale going on as well there's lots of games that we've talked about previously on the channel but i sort of wanted to highlight some games that maybe just flew under your radar maybe games that you haven't checked out or games that i just really super like like ease eight that i feel like you guys need to check out so be sure to let me know in the comments section down below which of these games interest you and if i missed any games obviously there's like 500 games on the nintendo switch that are on sale right now so if you have some recommendations for me be sure to let me know in the comments down below and let other people know in the comments down below as well we're, we're a family here in the comments we're a community and as always guys thank you for checking out this video like i said if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications we're getting very close to 300,000 subscribers once we hit that we will be doing a giveaway so you'll want to be around for that and as always i'll catch you guys on the next video later